The Beachy Emirate in Kano State, Northwest Nigeria, bubbled over the weekend with unforgettable memories when politicians, government functionaries, family and friends of President Muhammad Buhari came into town. It was to witness the wedding of the president's son, Yusuf Tazara, daughter of the second Emir of Beachy, Nasiru Adobayero. Correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports on the lessons learned from the ceremony where the political class united in a show of affluence, blurring the lines of political differences. It was a roll call of the cream de la cream as the son of the president married Bichi Princess Zahara Nasser Adu Bayeru. President Muhammad Buhari attended his son's wedding ceremony, which took place at the MS Palace in Bichi alongside dignitaries from all parts of the country who took the small town by storm. On this street of Kanu, and indeed any other street in Nigeria, the people are kept apart from one another by a certain interest of which politics is chief. But the question is, do politicians really fight for one another or is it always a case of permanent interest and no permanent foes? Eyebrows were raised, especially on social media when a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Femi Fani Kayode, was pictured with the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, a man he had once spoken of in very unflattering terms. Another was the meeting between President Muhammad Buhari and former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the candidate of the PDP in the 2019 election. Wajen, aura, aura. Professor mm -hmm. Kami Lisana Pagi, a kano based political analyst describes the coming together of the political class in affluence as dangerous, as it creates tension and anger on the masses. I think that is even dangerous for the system because um, the, the a poor man is being impoverished and he is seeing the kind of a dichotomy between himself and the rich people. Professor Fagi kind of also opined that the union is positive on the flip side. It shows ordinary citizens the spirit of oneness and promotes a sense of consciousness in followers. On the positive side, this should have shown the ordinary person that, look, uh, no matter the differences between the, the elite, it is those on the surface because they are one class. So this could have accelerated, uh, you know, a sense of consciousness and political awareness among the ordinary people. Numerous aircraft landed in Kanu, uplifting the hustle and bustle of the northern commercial city. Business boomed for hoteliers, vendors and many others, but there were those who were not so lucky. Felix Bende, a taxi driver at the Malam Amini Kanu International Airport, complained that cabbies witnessed low patronage as dignitaries resorted to using private vehicles instead of commercial vehicles during the beachy wedding. None, no single one car hire from Malam Aminu Kanu here that picked any passenger from there. In fact, they went outside and uh, get some luxurious, all these uh, uh, federal schools, uh, universities and uh, whatever, you know, other coasters, you know. And they and his but colleagues could smile. not smile at the bank. A resident, especially the business class, will continue to count on their gains and how the first son's wedding wrapped off on the local economy. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News. <laughs>